Ladies and gentlemen, uh, two sons of the soil from Sikkim, Darjeeling, Paichung Bhutia and Harshwardhan Shringlaji. Top of mind, isn't it? So please, big round of applause and thank you, sir. You are in the thick of things as Chief Coordinator at, uh, of the G20. And uh, how's it going so far? Foreign Secretary or CC? Which was easier? Well, it depends which stage you're in. At this stage, uh, CC looks a little more intense. But uh, I must say that, uh, uh, you know, the advantage we enjoy today is that the planning and preparation for this big event that we're doing hmm. started way back, well before our presidency. It's been a whole of government approach, whole of nation approach. And I think that has helped us uh, today when we are hosting the biggest international event that we've ever done. It has, I think, uh, put us in a position where we are confident that, you know, the arrangements uh, for this mega event are in place. Is that also a sign of how we have grown as a nation? How we have improved? Definitely. I think um, the fact that today we are, have the confidence to host over 200 G20 meetings in 60 different cities of our country is a sign of confidence. The fact that today we are at the global high table, we are hosting uh, the presidents and prime ministers of the most influential countries in the world, is also a sense of our rising confidence and a, ri and a sense of our rising abilities and capabilities. Well, you've carried the tricolor to the US, to Bangladesh, to Thailand, the world over. What has changed from your years there as ambassador, as high commissioner, as foreign secretary, to now, when you interact with members or representatives from the same nation, what has changed? Well, I think um, one discernible change that you see uh, in recent years, I would say in the past decade, is the respect with which India has received. In other words, wherever you go, whether it's with governments, it's uh, with businesses, it's with tech leaders, uh, it's essentially any part of society in any foreign country that you go to, I think your access, your receptivity uh, that others have towards you is far, far better. Indians today, I think, are far more respected in every part of the world than we were 10 years ago. And that also comes because of the fact that uh, we have achieved what we have uh, at a global level. I mean, the Prime Minister mentioned just recently, he said 10 years ago we were the 10th largest economy in the world. Today we're the fifth largest economy. In a couple of years, we'll be the third largest economy. Our GDP is growing. We're the fastest growing large economy in the world today. Uh, we have uh, the largest working population in the world, um, a very youthful demography. Uh, and I think we are, in many senses, uh, at the cutting edge of innovation and technology. So that, I think, has earned us the respect of people all over the world. But it is more than that. It is also the way we have engaged uh, on a global basis. Uh, the fact that uh, we have consciously uh, conducted a foreign policy that is based on human-centric globalization yeah. as opposed to a GDP-centric globalization. Right. I think that is a change and that is discernible in the way we are seen and perceived and received globally. Sir, I've got five minutes, less than five minutes on the clock. So now I'm going to take it away from the rest of the world to your own personal experience and pinch a few pages out of your future memoir. So I'm going to ask you, Harshwardhan Singhlaji, do you remember when is it that you got a call or you were told that ye aapko karna hai, that you are going to be chief coordinator G20 and what was your reaction? Well, um let me go back a little further to when I got the call when I was going to become foreign secretary because that was <laughs> memorable. I was, in, I was in Hawaii at that time, not on holiday, I was in work ostensibly. But uh, it was, you know, given the time difference, everybody calculated Eastern Standard Time in, in the US and felt that it was a good time to call. So I remember getting a call from the principal secretary to the PM at about 3 in the morning, which is, which is a very difficult time for anybody. And, uh, well, it was a happy call, but uh, it was under somewhat uh, different circumstances in a different environment, mm -hmm. and so I stayed in my mind. As far as, uh, you know, the call uh, here came was during the, uh, you know, remaining, I mean, when I was about to complete my term as Foreign Secretary. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the principals, again, Principal Secretary to the PM, Dr. P.K. Mishra, 
uh, said that we need you for this particular, you know, big event that we're having and that, uh, you know, um, we want you to join this effort. Were you expecting it? I don't think you expect anything. You do your best and, uh, and that's what matters. Uh. So, so one year down the line as you look back, what would you say have been your achievements as far as CC is concerned? I know the big one is still left. No, I, I did mention before, but I think one very, very happy, uh, I would say, uh, memory as far as the G20 is concerned is the fact that early in our presidency, we took the G20 to uh, most of our northeastern states. Ah. I think that is very, very remarkable, considering that uh, very few international events have ever been held there. And uh, so whether it is it was uh, Manipur, whether it was Mizoram, whether it was Nagaland, whether it was Sikkim, I think we had G20 meetings in all of those capitals. And I went to each of these uh, states to try and prepare the ground for our presidency, worked with the chief ministers, chief secretaries of all of our colleagues. And of course, uh, I think um, everybody uh, came up uh, to the expectations because you needed to do a lot of work, increase capacity, uh, develop uh, areas, uh, you know, hmm. literally construct roads where there were none. There was a lot of work that had to be done, but the fact that we could conduct, successfully conduct G20 meetings in all of these capital cities of northeastern states was, I think, uh, quite a feat. And there was a huge public participation in all of these yeah. places. So, uh, let me ask you, so when you told them ki ye karna hai, what was the first reaction? Hobena, nahi hoga? Or they'll say ki kaise karenge? Ya chaliye karte hai. And then once it happened, did they come back and tell you, thank you for doing this, because it's left a lasting impression or it's changed things? It well, I think, uh, I must say that everywhere we went, as I said, there was an eagerness to participate, because every state saw it as an opportunity. I mean, uh, many of them said that, you know, we've never been called upon before. So, uh, thank you for giving us this opportunity. And they looked at it as an opportunity and grabbed it with both hands. In other words, came forward with their best, put their best foot forward, provided the best uh, arrangements, the best hospitality, the best cultural performances, the best craftsmen and, uh, you know, handicrafts people together. Essentially, whatever was the representation, the best aspects of those states were put forward. Mm. And I think that helped them. And as far as uh, coming back after the event was concerned, I remember a letter that uh, the Ch Vice Chancellor of the Mizoram University wrote to me, saying that thanks to G20, we have a new conference center, we have a new wing, and I think it's done a university a whole lot of good in terms of the confidence that it's given our students, mm. that we can mm. hold, host international events of this stature. Hmm. So I think that worked out very well. So final question, quickly, you don't need to name the nation, you don't need to name the uh, uh, de delegate. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> but was there anybody who thought that this is a land of snake charmers and their perception changed when they went beyond Delhi? I think that perception changed a good five to ten years ago. Um, you know, there was a time in which you travelled abroad, many of us did, and uh, you were associated with exotica, something different, something on the lines of what you're saying. But today, you're associated with something which is at the cutting edge of technology. Things like a doctor or a scientist or maybe even a space, uh, you know, scientist or a explorer. So it's a different world and a different ball game. And this is Nai Bharat. And I think we will see some very, very different dynamics in that regard. Harshvardhan Shringlaji, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much. We've not been able to speak with him in his tenure as Foreign Secretary as much as we've been able to engage with him as Chief Coordinator. So that is one good thing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Big round Thank of you. applause for him. Thank, Thank you, sir. You,